Mrs. Polk, you've done a lot to be in jail. I just don't understand. I'm pregnant. I need to get out of here. It's not safe for me to have a baby in here. No excuses. You have another 25 years left. Go back to your cell. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Sure, lady. Oh, no. I, I think it's time. I think I'm having my baby. Lord, please. I think I'm having my baby. Please. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. I just had a baby in prison. Your name is going to be Poke. But we've got to get out of here. Let's go. Come on, Poke. We're going to get you out of here. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Poke. I have to leave you. No. She got away. Huh. I guess you have to live out her sentence, Poke. Ah. Yo, Ronaldo, are you excited to get out of here? Yeah, yeah. Whatever, kid. I don't even know why you're in here. I told you I'm in here, you silly goose. Hey, personal space, please. Oh, sorry. You know why I'm in here, silly goose. My mom had me as soon as she broke out, so now I have to live out her sentence. But it's not so bad. I'll be out in 10 years. I can't wait. Life is just as bad on the other side. You have no idea. I don't even know. Why, why are you in here again? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say. I've changed. Yeah, well, I've always been the same. I can't believe I have to do this for my mother, but anything for her. I can't wait to see her when I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, when, when, you'll see her when you're out. Right, yeah. Ah, da -de da Ah, I cannot wait to get out of here. Another day of the Hey, kid. Oh, oh, Warden. Uh, how, how you doing, Warden? Yeah, yeah, just another terrible day here. Here's a donut. Happy birthday. You, you remembered. Thank you, Warden. Mm, man. Now I'm, back up. Oh, 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 sorry. Warden, uh, I have a question. Yes? I have been very good here, and I really want to see my mother. I just... Please, when can I get out of here? I, I feel as if this is kind of weird. Oh, all kids have to go through this. Besides, if we find your mother, she's going right back in here. Oh, all kids have to go through this, huh? Well, I can't wait to get out of here and then just ask all the other kids how their experience was in jail. You know, it's not that bad. Free food, free toilet, free bed. Hmm, now that I think about it, every kid really goes to prison. Weird. Well, I can't wait to get out and ask them about how their time was in prison. <sighs> Poke, poke. Wake up. Get up. Warden. Warden, how how you doing today, sir? <laughs> Good. Um, how are you doing, sir? Oh, man, you know, I got another, what, like five years until I'm out of here. I'm 15. I'm so excited to live my own life soon, you know? Yeah, well, uh, I've been really thinking about it, and, uh, you know, <laughs> you really didn't do anything to be in here anyways, and, uh, I think I'm just gonna let you out early today. <gasps> what? Wait, 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 what? No, no, no way! I'm leaving now? JK, just kidding again. You're good to go. Oh, jeez. You got me there. Um, so, can I maybe ask, uh, what, what do I do? I'm 15 and, well, I've never stepped outside of these prison gates. Well, uh, you're not 18, so we have to send you over to the foster home, and, uh, we put you in Brookhaven High School, and, uh, that's pretty much it. If you see your mother, though, you call the police immediately. Oh, I, again... Maybe can I figure out what she did? Trust me, kid. Oh, wait. I gotta go. <sighs> well, what the heck? Wait, so... Um... I could just walk out? Hello? I could... Guys, wait. Can I just leave? Like, I'm good to go? Yeah, go, kid. Just go. Wait, you know, wait, I said leave. you're free. You're free. But, but go. Like, leave? What do you mean? Like, leave? I don't get... Oh, I... I'm out? I'm... What's that smell? It smells amazing out here. And that noise... What is going on? Where am I? What is this? Oh, oh, oh. what in the? Oh, this looks really tall up. And what is that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was awesome. The bank. Excuse me. I would just love to. Hey, watch yourself, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got a prison uniform on? Okay. Well, I'm calling the police. Yo, yo, what the? Um, um. Uh... Jeez, what did I just do, man? I just wanted to open an account. Poke. Hello? Yes, my name's Poke. Hello? Hi, sir. You're Poke? Yes, I'm Poke. Who are you? Oh, I'm over at Brookhaven Adoption Center, and, uh, you know, we are looking after you now that you're out of prison. So you're like my dad? Yeah, I'm like your dad. Dad, can we 
uh, just maybe go get some food or something, like some new clothes. This just looks terrible. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's go do all these things. We have a big day ahead of us. All right, cool. Here, let's go pick out some clothes right now. Hey there, guys. Welcome to Rockstar Clothing. Hey there. I'm just going to get some new clothes if that's okay. Okay, let me just, just get a, try a few things on, maybe. This is my new foster son. Yeah, just got him to do Oh, wow, that's incredible. This one looks great. Oh, this one's awesome. Okay, all right. Yo, Dad, I'm all good. All right, see you, man. Peace out. Um, wait, uh, Sonny? What's up, bro? Let's do this. We, we didn't go. pay for that yet. Pay? Wait, what do you mean pay? Everyone in prison tells me you just go steal stuff for free. Sonny, no, this is Brookhaven. You can't just go around stealing things. We're not in prison anymore. Oh, oh, jeez, I... <laughs> I feel terrible, but, uh, can I just leave with it? I don't have any money. Like, this guy will get it, right? Yo, dude, you cannot steal from Rockstar Clothing, my guy. We're Rockstar Clothing, bro. We need all the dough we can get. You know what I'm saying? Just, come on, man, please. How about this? How about I come back tomorrow, and I'll pay you with some money I get? Wait, really? You mean it? Yeah, man, of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't worry. Awesome, bro. Thanks again for shopping at Rockstar Clothing. You're not gonna pay him, are you? <laughs> Of course not. That's the number one thing I learned from my guy, Ronaldo. He said, always steal, always lie, and always... Poke! No! We do not steal, we do not lie, and we do not especially talk like that to other people. I'm sorry, Foster Dad. I have been in prison my whole life. I... I don't understand what's right and wrong let's get you back to the foster home and we can teach you some manners and how to be a good civilian plus you have school tomorrow school tomorrow school my first day of school i'm 15 i can't wait bye foster dad i can't wait to go to school and it's so close oh wow this is incredible high school math class english class oh science class not my favorite hey man what's your name do you come to Brookhaven school often? Yo, dude, uh, what's your name? I'm Poke. So, tell me, man, how was it being in prison for the first 15 years of your life? What did you do for that time? Was it fun? Was it exciting? <laughs> did you learn a lot how to steal and how to lie and- Uh, bro, are you actually a psychopath? I didn't go to prison. I was born with my mom and dad, and I've been living in a house. I've been going to school since I was, you know, as far as I can remember. You went to prison? Yeah, that- that's what everyone did. Right? Th th that's what every single kid did. That's what the warden at my prison told me. <laughs> hey, yo, Cindy, get a load of this. This kid has been in prison since he's been a baby. Oh, I, no way. No way, that's not happening. No way. What? And he thinks that we all went to prison as kids. Are you actually nuts? I, but I, but I was told that. But it's because my mom had me in prison and then she broke out. Oh my God. That's even funny. Oh, yeah, bro, bro. Who who are you? You're making me laugh so hard, bro. I hope none of that is real, man. Oh, that is that's too good. I, I can't believe it. I was lied to my whole life. And people have parents and homes, and my mom had me in prison? Oh, man. You know what? I've got to get down to the bottom of this. I've got to find my own mother. Maybe she's still down to, you know, drive me to school, and we can have a house, and it's not funny. Never in a tough situation. Always punch him in the gut. And never use physical harm. Oh man, what should I do? Should I do the good thing or the bad thing right now? Uh, <laughs> no. No, I'm better than that. That was prison poke. I'm free now. Oh, you ready, man? Are you ready to go to prison class or what? Oh, okay, I'll stop talking. Never. What did I learn today? I learned that one, not every kid goes to prison. Who would have known? Gee, Zach, think with your head maybe. Well, foster dad, I... <laughs> Foster Dad, are you okay? Uh, Poke? Yeah, you shouldn't be here right now. Um, uh, you should, you should go. Wait, you just want the kid? But, but why him? What is she saying to you? This is so scary. Sure, yeah, he's yours. Take him. So, are you ready to go? Uh, uh, I guess. What the? <laughs> who are you? Oh, stop it. You know exactly who I am. Just give me a second. I, I really don't, though. Who are you and what do you want with me? Please, I just got out of jail. I know you just got out of jail. Now welcome to the secret base. The, this, the secret, but the mom? Wait, what, what? Allow me to introduce myself. Poke, I am your mother. <gasps> oh, what, what, what? No, 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 wait, what, your mom? It's, it's you. Oh, I know, I have so much to explain. I first want to say I am so proud of you for breaking out of jail all by yourself. That is such a big accomplishment. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't break out of jail. They let me out early. You know, 
I had to live with your sentence. You know that, right? You had to go through my sentence? Oh, that's that's not real. I thought you went to jail for other reasons. Oh, this changes everything. I'm so sorry, but now that you're here, please allow me to introduce the criminal family. Hey there. Hey. Mom, I don't get it. Uh, what What is this? This is our crew family that we go through robberies and we steal from people and lie to people and... Donnie. No, this is Brookhaven. You can't just go around stealing things. We're not in prison anymore. Oh, wait. No, but... What? Wait, what? No, that's not good. You should not do that. What are you talking about, Sonny? It's the best part. Oh, man. I knew you'd grow up to be a robber just like your mother. No, no, I'm not. You know, I realized that I learned a lot in prison about how to, you know, be rude and steal and lie, but that's not normal. I am not like that. That is an evil person. I'm a good human with good citizen feelings, okay? I would never hurt anybody, lie to anybody, or just be a bad person and break a law. <laughs> That, that that was good. That that's funny. <laughs> oh, funny, God. real funny. Literally. Yeah. Come on, come on. Idiot. Hulk, I uh, I can't believe I even am saying this, but hmm, you should just probably leave. First off, I have so much to say to you, but I'm not even gonna say it all. I'm just gonna say one thing and one thing only. You failed as a mother, and you probably also failed yourself. You're a criminal. Yeah, you think those words hurt? You might as well go talk to your father. <laughs> He's the nicest guy ever. He reminds me so much of you. He would never be a criminal like me. So I had to break up with him. Dad lives nearby in Brookhaven? <laughs> of course he does. Oh, man, you know how many times I've robbed his house? Oh, jeez. He's so... Where, where is my dad? Tell me now. Fine, jeez. He lives at the Brook Estates. Yeah, he's one of the houses. You won't miss it. Now leave. Get out of here. You're not a criminal? You don't ride with us? You're out of here. I guess I better go. Bye, Mom. I hope you enjoyed life because I would never want to be like you. Yeah, I'll get it. Hello? Hey, if you have a dad, can you ask him if he knows, uh, who Poke is, maybe? Okay, weird question, but sure, one sec. Hey, Dad? Yes, Sonny. Do you know an, uh, a Poke? A, a, a Poke? Wait, um, wait, wait, who's at the door? Wait, I'm coming. What in the- It can't be. Um, hey there, I think you're my dad. Poke, it's really you. Oh, Dad, it's- it's so good to see you, and- I, I can't believe it. My life has been crazy. I was born in prison. I was there for 15 years. I mean- Oh, Sonny, I know all about all of it. Oh, man. When me and your mother decided to have you, she was so nice and sweet, but then she started to need money to raise you. So she started acting like a criminal. I couldn't bear it, and I decided to break up with her. And I'm just so glad you're here. Now, why are you here? I have no place to go. Mom's still crazy. She's a criminal for life. You could stay with us, Sonny. Here, meet my wife. Hi there. It's so good to meet you. Hey, man. Uh, so we're brothers, I guess, right? You know, I guess so. This is amazing. I never thought my life would actually end up like this. I'm so blessed. So, uh, hopefully your mother and, uh, the jail didn't rub off any, you know, criminal vibes onto you. Is there anything that you have done today or yesterday that you need to let us know about? Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there, there is one thing. Uh, I'm gonna need 20 bucks right now. Tw tw 20 20 bucks? I, I need 20 bucks really badly, and, uh, I I'll tell you why when I get back. Hey, my guy, I got the money. Bro, wait, it's you from yesterday, bro. We at Rockstar Clothing really appreciate that, man. You know, I knew I could trust you. So yeah, why did you trust me? You know, I had a criminal suit on and everything. Just because someone was in prison and now isn't doesn't mean that they're not changed. Well, I, I actually was born there, so uh, I will never... It's president. It is I, the president, about to have my first baby ever. This is going to be such a big decision. Oh my gosh. I'm going to name him Poke. And on top of that, he is the new president of Brookhaven. What? what? Miss President, this is a bad... Nope. He is the new president. I officially resign today. Oh, Poke, you're going to run the world just great. Right. Mr. President, Mr. President, we need to know if we can go with the deal with Canada. Is this allowed? <laughs> amazing answer. I can't believe someone would think that amazing. I will go let them know immediately. Mr. President, Mr. President, I had some questions on those papers that you, uh, gave me to fill out, and, um, I just had a question about Goo Goo Gaga. Wasn't too sure, but we went forward with it anyways. <laughs> mm-hmm, that's what I was thinking. In three years, you should definitely rerun for president. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a lot, but you can do it. 
Oh, Mr. Monkey, I can't wait to get this new bill sent off to the Senate. So exciting. How's my little president? Mom, uh, uh, not during work. Come on, please. Me and Mr. Monkey have so much work to do. Oh, honey, you just make me laugh. Well, you are three years old today. And you know what that means? You have one more year until you have to decide if you want to rerun as president. If I want to rerun? Of course I want to rerun. Are you out of your mind, mother? I have a 90% approval rating across all parties. I mean, everyone loves me. I think it's probably just because I'm three years old and, you know. But hey, you never know, right? Oh, honey, they love you because they love you. You're a great president. You're doing great things. The Goo Goo Gaga bill has changed the world forever. Who would have thought? I know. That was a great year one thing that I did. I can't believe that. Oil shot down so cheap. You get back to work, Sonny. I'm so glad I made you president. Thank you, Mom. Or should I say, Vice President. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I can't wait to think of another great idea that's just going to change America. Mr. President! Mr. President! What, uh, what's going on, my men? We have a code red. Your mother is missing. Repeat, missing! My, my mother? Missing? No, 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 what, what do you mean? Check the security cameras. We checked. We looked we checked, everywhere. sir, we checked. Ah, oh, son of a mother! Oh, no. Okay, um, that's okay. You know what to do. Message the entire border police. Let everyone know. Close down Brookhaven. You know what to do. Come on, I'm the president around here. Snap, snap, let's go! Okay, Mr. President. Okay, I'll Mr. Get the, president. I'll get the police chief on the phone. Okay, me too. I'm, I'm gonna get... Oh, jeez. Mother. I hope she's gonna be okay. Oh, monkey. What are we gonna do? My Mr. Mom president, has everything. Mr. Oh, president. Yes, 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 yes. Any updates, sir? We received this very important video you have to watch immediately. Come with us. And what are you going to say? Poke, don't, don't run for president. It's not worth it. They're gonna hurt me. And what else? You need to end the Goo Goo Gaga deal now. And what else? There is nothing else. Oh, yeah. Y you're right. Okay. I, I don't get it. They don't want me to run? And I have to end the... Goo Goo Gaga deal? Uh, sir, the Goo Goo Gaga deal, it changed everything. It, 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 it decreased oil production. They want you to... I don't know who it is. Let's rewatch that video. Watch when he turns the corner, then bam, right here. Pause. Look at that logo. It says agency. We might be having a deal with the CIA. Oh my gosh, guys, everyone relax right now. <sighs> Jeez, there's only one person I could call. Dad! Come Hi, in. Sonny. How's it going, y'all? Oh, Dad... You don't need to use the accent, please. Oh, um, okay, well, why doesn't nobody like the accent? It's fun. Anyways, Dad, I called you. Mother is missing. I know you and her don't talk much anymore since, you know, she became the president and you kind of ride horses all day, so kind of polar opposite, but Mom's missing, Father. She's missing? Well, we gotta get her back. What happened? That's why I called you. I mean, hey, we're literally an agency of millions of people and we can't even figure it out. Maybe you know where she is. I don't know. I'm just been on the ranch all day. Sir, please. If you know anything about her, you know, an emergency phone number or just, you know, a hideaway place or just somewhere she would let you know where she is. Whenever she was in a pickle, she would always go somewhere by the car wash and then kind of just, like, disappear. She she left me there a bunch of times. Um. Okay, um, interesting. Kind of not, not weird at all. But anyways, that could help. Dad, thank you so much. Me and Mr. Monkey are going to talk about it. I have a re-election next year and everything. Well, it's kind of late and uh, old Bess is uh, tired from all the running we've done today. Can I, can I sleep here? Thanks. Oh, yeah, you... Uh, you. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, let's please just not hear this story anymore. That is annoying. Oh my god, your dad is ridiculous. Mr. Monkey, are we ever going to find my mom? I don't like that negativity. You know what? I think I'm done talking to you forever. I'm about to throw you in the- Mr. President! Mr. President! Yes, men. What is going on? We have a very strict schedule here. Yes, we're just making sure everything's okay for later today for the re-election campaign. Um, you're supposed to be going on the Brookhaven Breaking News at 8 p.m. with Jay Bob. I know, I know, interview. I know. I have an interview with Jay Bob Lowe, the biggest news in Brookhaven. I know. Uh, Dad, how are the uh, posters looking? Oh, well, the posters are looking great, Sonny. Uh, why don't you have a look at them? <laughs> I don't know about that slogan. What? I put my heart and soul into that slogan. Come on. This ain't no joke. What about like, I don't know, the longs of lines, just vote for poke or else you're going to lose money. I don't know. Jeez, just uh, dad, get get to work. Come on. Uh, okay, Sonny, I'll, I'll, I'll do better. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm stressed right now. Okay. The, the, the news and my mother. Poke, it's okay. We get it. We are searching day and night to find your mother. We promise you. Oh, really? Because it doesn't seem like it. It's been a year. Let's go. Come on. There's Jay Pablo right there, Dad. Don't sweat it, Sonny, all right? It's not like you got the whole nation watching you or anything. Like, you're you're gonna be good. Dad, 
the show has 3 million concurrent viewers every time they go live. That's great. It's all the people are going to hear about your awesome campaign ideas. My campaign ideas? My campaign. <laughs> Poke, don't, don't run for president. It's not worth it. They're going to hurt me. Oh, jeez. Okay. I, 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 I don't know. This may go good or bad. Hey, uh, Sonny. Oh, jeez. He's talking to me right now. Hey, AJ Bablu. Hey, come here, buddy. Come take, come take a seat. Let's get warmed up. Okay. I'm just really nervous right now. Uh, it's okay. You're going to announce your campaign. You're going to talk about the Goo Goo Gaga bill and how it, there's going to be a new one coming. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. What else? You need to add the Goo Goo Gaga deal. Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Pablo here with 59 Minutes with Pope, our president. Poke, how are you doing tonight, sir? Oh, Jay, I'm doing okay. I, I could be doing a lot better right now. Oh, well, it seems like something's on your mind. Uh, you're the president, and uh, it seems like this is possibly going to be where you announce for re-election. Uh, how's that going to go? Are you going to say it right now, or what? P please say it. Please say it. Um, Jay, honestly, I, I, I think I have to announce that I... Poke, don't, don't run for president. It's not worth it. They're going to hurt me. I... Don't run for president. I am running for president, but I have a request. Oh, uh, what the heck is going on right now? Me and Mr. Monkey have been looking for who took my mother. <gasps> oh my gosh, what the... Keep the cameras rolling. My mother has been missing for over a year now, and they said if I rerun, they will do something. But guess what? I know that if I don't rerun, I'll never find her. So, Mom, I'm gonna find you, and I'm rerunning. Oh, uh, jeez, that... That was a lot, Poke. But you're rerunning. Yeah, I, I am rerunning. And I've decided that my new vice president is Mr. Monkey right here. Oh, wow. That is, that's breakthrough. Oh, geez, how did I do? Your mother. We've been so caught up in the campaign, I forgot all about her. Dad, it's time we find mother. In other news, Mr. Monkey's the vice president? Wow. Congratulations, Mr. Monkey. That's a first. Thank you. He would say thank you, but he's he's very shy right now. <sighs> Please, let's, let's get back to the base. Monkey, I... Whatever happens in the next minute, it doesn't matter, okay? We're either president and vice president, or we're not. And it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't. Congratulations, Congratulations on the victory. New president Mr. again. President. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I knew I just said that if I wasn't president, I wouldn't care, but I literally would be so sad. I am the president again. Yes, four more years, 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 four more <laughs> My mother. Mom, what's gonna happen to mother? And another good thing, we got some really good intel about where your mother might be. That's amazing. Please, keep Mr. Monkey in the loop. Let him know everything. He's in charge of the whole operation with her, okay? Okay, Mr. Monkey, um, I will brief you in a little. No, no, he actually wants to be briefed right now. He's he's very impatient. Here's the thing. Like, we think we have the whereabouts of where Poke's mother might be, but um, it seems as if there's some monkey business going around if you know what i'm saying dad why are you talking to him like he talks back it's just an imaginary <laughs> monkey see monkey do monkey mr monkey did you just speak okay me me and him are gonna just talk for a little bit um but thank you guys for the cake really appreciate it um and uh, the the Google Gaga plan, we're gonna get to work on it. Just just go. We need a time alone. Uh, did, did we all see that right? Uh, did that monkey just say something? Mr. Monkey, you need to talk right now. What the heck was that? Oh, uh, hey, buddy. I finally can talk. <laughs> no more monkey business, okay? What is going on? You need to tell me the truth right now. Well, uh, your mother kind of got out the way of me being vice president. So I uh, took it to myself and did what I had to do. Mr. Monkey, you're you're behind my my mother's disappearance? I can't believe this! Uh, Poke, I, I did it for us to be closer and everything. Mr. Monkey, you're going in the trash, and you're gonna tell me where my mother is right now! Well, if I go in the trash, then I can't tell you. Gosh, what do I do? You listen up, okay? You listen up right now, because I will not hesitate to throw you in the dumpster. Oh, uh, really? Well, how about I know a way out of this? Anything, please. I just want my mother back. You make me president immediately. No, 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 no. Mr. Monkey, I, I'm president. You're my vice president. I've been wanting to be president since you have been born. Sign the paper, and you will get your mother back. Okay, I will. Anything for my family, you stupid monkey. And done. Mr. Monkey, you are officially the president, okay? I just want my mother back. Go near the car wash. She's sitting there. You're crazy. But as vice president, I am still able to have a little bit of- uh, uh, uh. You signed away everything. You have nothing. Wait, wait, but bo bodyguard, secret service, I- Uh, sorry, Mr. Poke. Uh, you're officially done. No, no, you always call me Mr. President. This, this can't be real. I'm sorry, Poke, but 
You are no longer the president. Mr. President, would you like us to escort him out of the house? I would love that. Thank you. You heard the president. Let's go. Anything for family, though, am I right? Mr. Monkey, you are always my longtime friend. Sad to say, it's over. Dad, you could have come with me. Uh, uh, um, hmm. Uh, well, um. Uh, duh, of course, I'm kidding. I don't want to live with a monkey. Thank you, Dad. Let's go get mother. Okay, she's got to be around here somewhere, Dad. He said something about the car wash, and I can't stop thinking about the old life. Your mother used to, used to pull up right here to this pump, and uh, she would get out the car and run over here, and then I wouldn't see Dad, her for I just like don't a understand. couple of days. A couple of days? Uh, Come on, Dad, think a little bit harder than that. Oh, well, Sonny, I'm a... Oh, what the, Mom? Holy smokes! Uh, ow, 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 ow. What is this in here? Oh, Poke, you all right? Uh, ow, yeah, I'm fine. Mom! Uh, right. Mom! What is this place? Poke. Mom! Mom! Oh, my goodness, Mother! Cheryl! Poke! And Daryl! Cheryl, I've been helping your son. Mom, it's so good to see you. Oh, my gosh. It's been such a long year, two years. I don't even know how long it's been, Mom. Has everything been okay? It was the monkey the whole time. I know, that son of a monkey. Well, he's president now, so we have nothing to worry about, right? What? Oh, yeah, okay, no, nothing, but you know what? I haven't been this happy since you were vice president and we were a family. And you know, all three of us here together, I don't even care about being the president. I just want to be with my family. Oh. That's so sweet, Poke. I've been loving y'all and spending all this time with you, Poke. Cheryl, you want to get married? No. No? No. What? No. Oh, oh my inside. goodness. Our baby. Oh, jeez. We have too much weight. It's not going to work. The aliens destroyed our ship. You will never leave. Come with us. Honey, I'm sorry, but I have to do this, especially for our baby, Poke. Honey, no. What are you doing? I'm sorry, honey. No. Oh, my gosh. I have to start the engine. Let's go. Come on. This is it. It's going to be Nine, okay. I'm going to do this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh, no. The damage on the ship has gone up. And what's worse, I'm about to have my baby. Oh, no. I don't know if I can do this without my husband. I can't believe this. My baby boy. I'm going to name you Poke. And you are probably the first baby born in space. You're going to have a great life. And hopefully we get home. Oh, Mom. I can't believe this. Space travel is so interesting. And I totally understand that. And using the quadratic formula to increase ignition and workplace, it makes so much sense on how to fly a ship. Oh, my Sonny. I am so proud of you recently. Your father would so proud. Mom, where is father? You always tell me about father and you say he's still out there, right? I think he might be, but I don't know. Mom, also, why on the ship is it say damage 65? Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, that's nothing, Sonny. Just, we're just, we're trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. You know, your father was kind of the pioneer of the ship. I, uh, I don't really know how to do much here. I just have kind of just been waiting, relaxing, and just... <laughs> Are you looking for your husband? Oh my gosh, it's you! It's you, the ones who... Oh my gosh, my son, Poke, you need to go downstairs, you can't see this! Oh, these must be C-47 5B aliens. I've read about these in the book, Mom. Sonny, these are dangerous. These are really, really... Relax! We know what's on Earth, and when you take us to Earth, we will rule it. We would never, ever, ever, ever... Would this convince you? Bring him in! Uh, it can't be. It's... It's my... My son! Dad! It's... It's really you! No way! Honey, it's been so long. I know, I can't believe it's, you're here. They want us to do something so bad. I don't know what to say. It could get us back to Earth. It could get Poke to understand what it's like to live a life on Earth. I'm sorry, Earth? I, I don't even... I haven't even been there, but I've read about it in the book, though. Sounds really nice, and... Huh, it'd be nice to try some good water that's not from a bag. I have an idea. Okay, aliens, we're gonna take you to Earth. Oh, great. We will replace the damage on the ship immediately. It looks like it could use some work. Wow, the aliens really did fix the ship. We could probably get back to Earth now. Okay, we're all ready to go back. Begin countdown. This Earth is gonna be destroyed. I have a plan. I just want to say goodbye to you and sub Poke. I'm gonna miss you. Dad, what are you talking about? You're coming with us. The aliens want me. If I run out this door, they'll chase me. You could live a life on Earth. I'll see you one day. Goodbye. No! No! Mom, what's going on? We're going to Earth, Sonny! No! We will find him one day. Seems like we're finally.
finally landing after so long. I miss your father so much, Poke. But we're gonna start a new life on Earth. That's what he'd want for us. You're right, Mom. Oh, I think we landed. Are we on Earth? I think so, honey. There's only one way to tell, am I right? All right, before we walk out this door, let's not be so sad. We have a new life ahead of us. Dad would want this, right? Exactly. And let's see what is beyond these doors in beautiful Earth. <laughs> Oh man, what the? Oh, hello. Wait, what the? Oh, aliens, it's aliens, aliens, aliens. This is incredible. Hey, excuse me, sorry. We're we're not aliens. We're we're from um we're from Sector Galaxy A seven five seven B seven. If that sounds familiar to you guys. Oh, we're we're gonna keep our distance. We don't want to, you know, any weird stuff happening here. Mom, this is so interesting. Look, the sky is so blue, and the grass is so green, and <laughs> and ugh, kind of smells like cars and nastiness oh that's just the pollution honey oh, mom well it is getting kind of late i'm a little tired what do you say we start our day tomorrow yes sonny and i uh, already signed you up for your first day of school tomorrow i hope you're excited am i ever and excuse me can you guys please leave us alone unless i'm gonna get paid for this come on sonny let's go good night mom see you in the morning good night honey sleep well Oh, Mom, I'm so nervous for school. I can't believe my first day of school. How do I look? What do you think? What do you think of this outfit? Am I good? Honey, are you really going to wear that to school? Oh, son of a... We don't really have any other clothing. Uh, I'll, I'll take you to Rockstar Clothing later. I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to wear that. Who cares if I wear this? I'm going to look amazing. Well, I better go, okay? I'll see you later. You know how to get there, right? Mom... If I can make my way through space, I can make my way through Brookhaven, a small town. I just don't get it. Where am I? I don't understand. I thought being a space traveler was so much easier than this, but walking everywhere is so difficult. There it is, Brookhaven School. Oh, jeez, I'm already so late. Oh, wait a minute, I was right there the whole time? Son of a... Oh, man, oh, man, my first class was uh, math. Okay, math, 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 here we go. Oh, my goodness, so sorry I was late, teacher. It's just, it's been such a rough... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Did I miss something? Uh, I'm sorry, my name's Poke. I should have introduced myself. <laughs> oh my gosh! You're in a safe space suit, you dummy! What are you wearing then? Is that Halloween? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, dude, what are you, bro? Part of NASA? Dude, that's so funny, bro. No, for real, though. Why are you wearing that? I just didn't have anything else to wear. I've been on a giant space mission my entire life. I actually haven't seen my father because of it, so... Okay, okay, enough of the fantasy fairy tale stories. New student, what's your name? My name is Poke, defender of the Space Union Station 87B505. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I'm Flamingo's best friend. <laughs> we all have fantasies, kiddo. Get over it. Oh, weird. I... Oh, okay, uh, I guess I'll sit. I got a bone to pick with you, my friend. The spacesuit. It's all so weird to me, man. I'm watching you. Um, oh, okay? Wow. It's really crazy seeing female girls in real life. Especially after just hearing about them. Oh, this is crazy. I really do feel like an alien. I should probably just go up and say something. That's what my mom always told me, she said. Just go up to everything. Except if it has some sort of green fluid blood. All right, let's go. Hi there, ladies. Uh, my name's Poke. I am um, defender of... Well, I won't even say it. Um, what do you guys like to do? Um, who the heck are you? Yeah, what the heck? I was on a space mission, and, you know, it, it was really crazy, and, um... Could you take us to space? Yeah, we'd want to come. Uh, I'd have to talk to my mom about it, you know, plan a trip out, but, you know, we just came here after a really long mission trip of, uh, a few years and stuff, so I'd have to let her know, but seems like you guys are interested, right? Oh, yeah, we're so interested. Hey, back off of my ladies. Oh. Yeah, hi, hi, Jack. Yeah, uh, sorry, this is Jack, Poke. Oh, so his name's Poke. <laughs> what a loser. Stay away from my ladies. Um, okay, jeez. Well, okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know if I can plan out the, uh, whole space thing. Okay, sounds good. I don't know why you guys were even talking to me. Mom, 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 that was the craziest thing ever at school. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. How, how'd it go, Sonny? Tell me all about it. Well, I met these two girls, and I met this guy who was kind of mean, but the two girls, I, I asked them if, uh, you know, we, maybe I could take them to space once, you know? That could be kind of fun, right? Sonny, do you know how expensive space fuel is? You're out of your mind. We can never leave. I don't think you understand. If we were to leave, we would have already left to find Dad. You know what? What's the point? I don't want to be an astronaut anymore. I want to live my own life like the other kids at school. Then do it, Sonny. Do whatever you want. Your father would not be happy, though. I don't care. And I'm going up the stairs first. Gosh. <laughs> Literally. And then and then I told them, I said, no, no, no. If you want to just run this expedition alone, you can. 
Ah, oh, that was the good old days when I was on Sector Alien 574. Uh, 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 bro, those they crack me up every time, man. I love that story. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. So, you really just haven't done the whole space thing in a while? No, I'm done with that stuff. Space sucks, dude. Who cares about space, bro? I did it so long. Those are just old stories, you know? It's not like I miss them or anything, but... Oh, I have another great story about the time that I was on Sector C07. Oh, but actually, that reminds me. Um, I have to go, guys. I gotta bike over to the... Uh, the store. I'll see you guys tomorrow for sure, okay? Right on, dude. I'll see you, bro. Yeah, bye, bye. <laughs> Sun's going down. It's a beautiful day. Just gotta go in and get my mom's stuff. Oh, mother, I'm home. Oh, Sonny, look at you. <coughs> How was your day? Mom, oh, your cough isn't getting better. Here, I got you your medicine. Sorry it took so long. I was hanging out with the friends. That's okay, Sonny. I really appreciate it. Mom, I feel like you're hiding something from me. Just tell me the truth. Sonny, it's it's coming to that time. I'm I'm getting old, and, you know, all the space really wore me down early, and, well, let's just say that your mission is not over after I'm gone, okay? Mom, don't talk like that. I hate that. You'll be okay. We'll be okay. Exactly. I can't believe my mother's gone, dude. Hey, buddy. It's gonna be okay. I remember back in the day when I used to bully you, and now we're best friends. It'll all be okay. You know, there's just one last weird thing is a while back I saw her holding this letter and and it seems as if I should read it. It seems like she's been waiting for me to read this for a while. Where could that thing be? Oh, man. Cabinet over here. Wait, what the heck is up here? What is this? Dear Poke, if you're reading this, I'm gone. But I have been lying. You have enough fuel to make it back to where your father is and back to Earth. You could still save him, but you must focus up on your studies and learn how to run the ship by yourself. And you will also need a co-pilot. I know you can do this, and I know he's still out there. Much love, Mom. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jack! Yes? Are you trying to be my co-pilot? It's time to save my dad. Let's do it! Okay, let's get a check on oxygen fuel damage. Looking good, okay. Lights are able to be checked. Sounds good, all right. Ignition on, let the countdown begin. The coordinates are placed in. I'm gonna do this for you, Mom. Always was for you! Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, too late, buddy! We're going! Oh, here we go! Seems as if we're only gonna be able to get back with just a little bit left. Oh man. Hey, what are the coordinates looking like? How close are we? Okay, it's saying we are about uh 3,575 miles from the destination. We should be there in about two, three minutes. Okay, splendid. And once we get there, we go out and we find my father. Could be dangerous out there, man. This is crazy, man. I miss my family. I bet they miss you too. But this is for the greater good. Oh, here we go! Okay, we've definitely made a big enough alarm to know that they know where we are, so we've got to be careful. Just... What dares brings you to the planet of Sector? I know what sector I'm on. I've been here before. Listen, I came here a long time ago with my mom. I'm grown up now, and I'm here to get my dad back. Oh, you, you mean, mean our new king? You mean Sir King's Hey, yo, wait, what? Oh, the Dad, what the? You're the king here? Well, what can I say? I made a life for myself, you know? Uh, in Earth, I was nothing, and here, uh, I was everything, so I, I just decided to stay. Well, I, I was supposed to bring you back to Earth, but if you want to stay here, you you could stay here. Unfortunately, Sonny, I'm not the only one staying here. Uh, what what are, what are you talking about? Fuel and oxygen? Solo. You couldn't make it back even a second in space. Yo, what is he saying, bro? I'm freaking out. What does he mean? It's fine, it's fine. We might just have to stay here for a little bit. It's It's chill, dude. It's chill. Well, since you are the king, why don't you show us around? I'd love to. Let's go. Congratulations! It's a boy! Oh my gosh, honey! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna name him Poke. Oh, oh you are such a- <laughs> oh, oh my- What the heck was that? You, you promised! You promised he wouldn't- I'm leaving you. Wait, what? No, honey! Oh, uh, do you want the bill now, or- what do I want to eat right now? What's what's in the fridge? <laughs> hey, Dad, when'd you stock the fridge? Oh, oh, Sonny, um, you shouldn't be using your powers right now. You know, it's not worth it. Dad, are you ever going to tell me how I even got my powers? Like, please, please, please. Like, who am I? And End of discussion. Uh, Butler, can you please just, just get him some snacks or something? He and, and why do we have a butler? Why are we so rich? I, I, what, are, what is your job? Dad, what do you even... Sonny, I said enough. 
Tomorrow is your first day of school, so I expect you to be on your best behavior and not to use your powers. Dad, do you have powers? Uh, no, no, I don't. You stuttered! You do! You have to! That's it! Go to your room now! Dad, I... Sorry, I... I guess I... I guess I did the wrong move. I, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go upstairs. Ugh, it makes me so angry, but what are they saying? I just don't know what to do, Butler. How do I tell him the truth? Uh, well, he does it the first day of school tomorrow, and, you know, if he uses his powers, then... We? Oui, we? Oui. Yeah, he, he like, really opened up everything. He he has no idea what's in store for him in this life. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Uh, I, I should go talk to him. I, I'm gonna go upstairs and talk to him right now. Oh, thank you, Butler. Thank you. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. <laughs> Sonny. Oh, Dad. Oh, hey. Uh, is everything okay? I'm sorry about earlier. You know, tomorrow's gonna be great at school. And I think you'll figure out who you are on your own. Oh. Thank you so much, Dad. I I just was a little nervous about earlier. I just was asking too many questions. All right, Sonny, here we are. I can't believe it's my first day of school. Hello, class. The test in front of you is going to determine to see how smart you are for the classes you will be in. Oh, interesting. Okay, I got this. I got this. This is so simple. I There's a stack of papers on the desk. What if I just... <laughs> Gosh, I can see all the answers from here. Done. Here you go, sir. Okay, let's take a look here and see what... Oh, oh my goodness. Wait, what? You're testing for five grades above you, sir. You're a genius. Ah, <laughs> uh, what can I say? I got a very special skill set. I think I'm done. Oh, sorry, honey. You're in first grade. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Sonny. Ah, oh, thanks, Dad. I can't believe I just did so good on that test. And, you know, I definitely did not... Oh, uh, we hold on. I, uh, we gotta stop in the bank. One second. <sighs> bank. I can't wait until I'm gonna be here on my own one day. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just the usual. Okay, sir, and your total's gonna come to- Oh, what the- What's that noise? It sounds like someone is getting so close to me. Hold on, let me see. Hmm. Oh, I still hear something. Sorry, ma'am. Sir, control your child, please! What the? Someone's getting away. Oh my gosh, Dad, I'll, I'll be right back. Sonny, where are you? Where the heck did that guy go? Where did that guy go? I'm going so fast right now. What the? It seems like he went this way, but the thing's over here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. It's an opening. <laughs> this is going to be insane. Where the heck am I? Where the heck am I? What is the secret base? I got to get out of here. No, no, no. This is not safe for me. This is not safe for me. I got to get back to my dad. Dad is going to be so oh, mad. Dad, um, what in the... Oh my gosh. What if someone saw you? What would have happened? You have got to be careful. I tell you not to use these powers and look what you do. And guess what? I know that you cheated on that test today. Your powers are ruining you. You can't just cheat through life. What if someone saw you? You could get us in trouble. Oh my goodness, think about all the- Dad, I have superpowers, okay? Let me use them. I'm five years old and I have powers that no one else has. So just get off my back, will ya? <gasps> Dad? Come with me. You have a lot to learn, Sonny. Oh crap, crap dude! Oh uh, crap dude, we're da da da! Oh my god! Our top story tonight with another mysterious superhero win. Huh, what a great day for Brookhaven. That was, that was you? You were a superhero at one point! You- you were a super- I know, I know, and, and listen, Sonny, it comes with a lot of problems. Why do you think you don't have a mother right now? Well, you actually never really told me that, but I would love to kind of know a little bit. Well, Sonny, she thinks this life is a little dangerous, you know? She always was worried about, you know, someone just wanting to take our son, or, you know, wanting to take me and use us for the greater of evil, and, you know, that's just not gonna happen. Dad, I don't know why she'd think that. We have superpowers. We literally can do anything. Well, you can just x-ray. I, uh, I could do a lot. I think I could also hear people really well, because earlier I was- What was that? That noise? I've heard it before. That's the- Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh no, Dad, what is that? What is he holding? Son, that's the power riser. If he hits us just that, then we lose our- <laughs> Sonny, I, I don't have powers anymore. He, he took them away. You son of a mother! Hee 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 hee. Well, can you just come with me? Uh, what, 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 what did you say? Can you please just repeat? With me now. Okay, okay. Butler, find the butler. All right, let's do this. I'll X-ray in. I'll check it out for you. Make sure there's no security in there, and then I'm going home. Okay? Wee oui, wee. Oui. All right, let's take a gander. <laughs> Yep, just the just the regular person there. You can just probably walk right past her. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks, X-ray boy. Now get out of here. Dad, 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 I'm home. I'm home. How you doing? Oh, how do you think I'm doing, 
Sonny, no powers for the last five years? You were the one that always told me that it didn't matter if you had powers or not, and you said I never should use them. Sonny, it was to teach you a lesson, but now I just sit here and sulk. I just want them back more than anything. Dad, I don't know how much longer I could do this for them. Please. No, 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 no! No, Sonny, not at all. You know what'll happen. You know what they'll do to you. You know. Dad, who cares, okay? It's all gonna be okay. It's just life anyways, man. Like, what's the problem? I just don't think you get it. You know, you need to rebel. I can't do anything, but you can. What? Me? I'm only like 10 years old. I, I can't do anything. Sonny, you could x-ray through anything in the world. You could hear sounds from up to a mile away now. You're growing so much. Who knows what else you can do? Dad, I'm not like you. Just a kid who got lucky with x-ray vision. You're my son, and you have way more potential than just x-ray. So what do we do? Dad, are you sure this is gonna work? We gotta be careful. Sonny, it's gonna work. We just have to try. Now, quick, check and see if it's all good. Yep. He's down there right now, and he's alone, too. This is even better. Perfect. Let's do this. Oh, Butler, we need to talk right now. Oh, wee wee, what do you need? Oh, uh, leave, S Sir Father Poke. That's right, Butler. We have a long overdue talk. Five years. Sorry, but I've been planting on your downfall since I signed up for that stupid job. Well, guess what? We give in. It's over. We don't want to do it anymore. We both would rather be powerless. I, I don't even care anymore. Please, just, just take them away. Oh, really? Oh, well, this is my favorite part of the job. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Dad. It's okay, Sonny. You know what to do. I got you. Oh, my God. There you go, boys. Oh, my gosh. I can do this. I can do this. I can... Uh... <laughs> Always win. No, you don't. I'm sorry, Dad. I want you to have all your powers. No. Oh. oh. What in the? Dad. Dad. No. Please. Dad, wake up. Please. No. 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 And and the butler. No. I'm so sorry. I feel so funny. I'm up. Oh. Good, but but the butler, is he gonna- He'll be fine, Sonny. It seems that you hit him before you got everything. Wait, Dad, what just happened? What just happened? I'm so confused. You have all of my powers now. Dad, someone's coming. Someone's coming, get ready. Whoever you are, come out right now. What the, who the heck's that? It's your mother. Hope this is your mother. Haha, <laughs> this is- this is a little awkward. Mom! You're real! You have powers. What's that on your hand? Guess we're all just a superhero family, am I right? Hey, yo, what? Oh my gosh, our rich son. Oh, I love him already. He's the new rich brother. Oh, let's check up on the- You do not touch our rich baby. Yeah, who do you think you are? Get out of here, you loser. Oh, sorry. Time to drip you up. Ah. Oh. Let's get in, family. Time to spoil our kid. Okay, Nanny. Time to take care of Poke. Here, we'll be back in... Six months. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Me and Poke are gonna have so much fun when he's older. Yo, bro. Let's go do something. Uh, yeah, bro. Of course. We can go downtown and go do something fun. I mean, we are one of the richest families, right? And, you know, speaking of family, where's Mom and Dad at? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> You know how they be. They're gonna be gone for another few months on a business trip, Poke. Come on. It's how we get rich out here. Hey, who cares, man? You don't need them. We have our nanny. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I guess. To totally. Oh, she's offering us ice cream. Oh, that's even, that's great. Yeah, actually, you know what? You're right, man. I, I don't need to worry about my mom and dad right now. Let's take this. Let's go downtown Brookhaven, and let's just go talk to some people, man. Let's go hang out. Oh, uh, yeah. Talk to some people. <laughs> All right, Nanny, we're gonna go outside. We're gonna go downtown. Uh, we'll, we'll see you soon, okay? When I get back, I want a sandwich prepped for me, okay, Nanny? Gosh. Of course, of course. <sighs> Yo, bro, why were you so mean to her right there, man? Like, what's that all about? Oh, Poke. She's our nanny, bro. Think of it, man. Come on, she's not our mom or dad. Yeah, but mom and dad hired her, bro. So, like, we should just try to be a little bit more careful next time, you know? Whatever, let's just go downtown. Mmm, bro, that Brooks Diner was gas. That was so amazing. I don't know why we don't eat out more often, bro. Oh, silly poke. The nanny cooks some great food. That's some fast food junk, man. We don't need that. Yeah, but it's pretty delicious. I mean, like, should probably just be some sort of treat or- Oh my gosh, bro. Look it. It's- it's a hopeless person right behind you. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh man, let's let's not stare at him, bro. Turn away. Don't stare at him. That's not nice. I have just the plan. <laughs> bro, what are you gonna do? Stop. Hey, man. 
I feel like I can interest you in some money, right? Oh, yes, please. I would love some money. Psych! You're not getting any money from me. Oh. Maybe go get a job, you stupid. Oh, you're so lazy. I bet you've been homeless your whole life. <laughs> Yo, bro, come here. What the? What is wrong with you? Did you just fake give him money? Oh, Poke, there's something you're gonna have to learn about homeless people. Is that they don't work, and they never have, and they never will. But what if something happened to him, man? You know, man, it's not fair to assume that he just doesn't work and he's lazy. Something could seriously have happened in his life to bring him to this point. It's not funny. Poke, you're a part of the richest family on Brookhaven, so you better start acting like it. Let's go home. You're making me mad. Okay, bro. Dude, I, I guess we'll go home. I, I just... Didn't think you were like this, brother. This is terrible. Oh, Nanny, where's my sandwich? Boys, have a seat. Dinner is ready. Oh, man. Nanny, I'm so excited. We, we had a little bit of Brooks Diner, but it's not too big of a deal. Oh, man, that sandwich looks amazing. Mm. <coughs> this is disgusting, Nanny. What's wrong with you? Uh... I, uh... Did you put extra mayo in this? What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with- Mmm, this is delicious. Bro, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You could just maybe scrape the extra mayo off and- No, Poke. No. She messed up. And I'm so sick of this stupid person always just messing up around here. We pay you good money. Gosh. Oh my goodness. My brother is acting insane. Um, you know, um, I think I'm gonna go eat upstairs. Uh, I'll, I'll be back, okay? I'm gonna call my mom. This is horrible. My, she's even saying, Billy, I'm sorry. Please don't tell your parents. I mean, she could be losing her job at this point. She's so nice. Okay, I'm going to call my mom. I'm going to let her know what's going on. The best part of being in the richest family is you get a phone when you're five years old. Okay, let me call my mom. Mom, are you there? Oh, hi, honey. Sorry, the reception is kind of bad. We're in Europe. Oh, th that's okay. Um, Billy, you know, my brother, is being so mean to our nanny. And it's just terrible. I feel so bad for her. And... Um, um, um. Let me just cut you off right there. We pay her money, okay? It doesn't matter if you're nice or mean to her. She's getting paid for being in our house, and look at, look how good her life is now. I, I, I mean, her life isn't really that good. She keeps getting yelled at by Billy, and... Hulk, I know you're stressed, but it's fine. That's what we pay her for. All right, now I gotta go. Your father, we're hopping on the yacht. Oh, let's, bye-bye. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I guess... I guess everyone's just been in our family. I guess that means my brother, my mom, my dad. They're all mean to everybody. They're only nice to rich people. You know, when I grow up, I want to be a farmer. I don't want to be some stupid rich person that is mean to everybody and only cares about money. Money is nothing to me. Oh man, my brother just came upstairs. Yo, bro, let's go watch Rags to Riches. Stop eating up here like a peasant. Come on, let's go. Okay, bro. So, so, so sounds good. Bro, do we really have to keep watching Rags to Riches? We've seen every season. The show's canceled. Dude, it's the best watching the poor people. Like, what? watch. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, it's so good. He probably only makes 100000 or less a year. Dude, 100000 or less a year is still great. What the? Poke, where's one of your chains? What's wrong with you? Uh, I, I just... Didn't want to wear it. I don't know. I just felt like it was just, you know, I, I don't need all these chains on. Don't you ever take one off again. Do you know how blessed we are to have this money? You're disrespecting our family by doing that. No, no, I'm not. I, I promise. I love our family. I just, I, 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 what if I don't want to be rich, man? Or, you know, what if, what did you just say? You don't want to be rich? No, I, I didn't mean that. I, oh, okay. The nanny's here. Boys, time for bed. You have school in the morning and not just any school, private school. <laughs> No public school for you two. Oh, Ben knew that, Nanny. All right, sounds good. Poke, we'll talk about what you said later. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, you know what? Time for bed. At least I could go to school and clear my head and maybe talk to some more normal people. Well, not really. I'm going to a private school. Maybe I can meet some new friends there at least. Ooh, time for the first day of private school. I'm so excited, honestly. Finally, I just get to stay away from my brother at least a little bit. All right, kids, have fun at school. Here's your daily allowance. A thousand dollars to each of you. A thousand dollars a day? What does someone even do with that cash? That's ridiculous. You're kidding me, right? A thousand? That's it? Nanny, please, more. Come on, it's so fair. They're gonna think I'm poor. That's what your mom and dad set for you. I don't care. Give me more. Yo, bro, a thousand dollars is amazing. That's thirty thousand dollars a month, bro. What the heck are you complaining about? Ugh. 
so poor. Your parents said you needed to slow down. All right, the limo's ready. Go. I don't need the money, Nanny. I, I don't want the money. No, thank you. Okay, I guess I'll just give you two grand tomorrow. All right, come on, bro. Let's go. Stupid Nanny. I just don't know why you have to act so rude, man. Dude, it's the part of the life and- Wait, yo, limo, pull over! I, I see someone skateboarding. I gotta make fun of him. Wait, bro, what is your problem? Dude, just relax, man. No, dude. Watch this. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, loser! Whoa, whoa, Oh. Hey, man, how's it going? Get your poor butt out of here, bro. You know this is a private school, right? Well, it, it's a public sidewalk, man. I'm just, uh, I'm just skateboarding here. I don't care, dude. Look at your outfit, bro. You're made of literally nothing. Look at those shoes, bro. What, dollar? Look at those pants, bro. Five dollars? Look at that shirt. Free, probably, from the thrift store? You're poor, bro. Gotcha. I can't oh. let my brother talk like this. Yo! Bro, get out of here, man. This kid is just on the sidewalk skateboarding like a cool man. I would love to learn how to skateboard. So why don't you get out of here, bro? You're literally always caring about money. But look at you, dude. If your personality was based on how much money you had, you'd be broke. What the? Bro, Polk, why would you say that to me? Why would you say that to me, bro? I'll see you inside. That was so mean. I'm telling mommy and daddy. Dude, I am so sorry, bro, about my brother, man. Oh, that was so annoying, dude. What's your name, man? Yo, bro, I'm Todd. What's your name? Poke. Nice to meet you, Todd. Oh, one second, bro. Hey, mom. Hey, you're, you're good, bro. I... Yeah. yeah, I'll be home for dinner. Yep, I can, yep. I'll see you and dad later. Bye. He's gonna see his mom and dad? I gotta go. I got chores and stuff. See ya. Nice meeting you. He's got a family that's gonna go to dinner with him? And my family hasn't been home in months. Why was I given such a horrible family? I wish I wasn't so rich. I wish I wasn't the richest person in Brookhaven because I feel like the poorest man. Oh man, I feel so bad for my brother. You know, maybe I shouldn't have yelled at him like that, but he did deserve it. Hey, yo, bro, I I'm sorry about that, man. All, all good, man. I'm trying to act cool for the cool kids. Uh, so just, 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 just act cool, please. Uh, yeah, what do you, what, oh, what the? How's it going, y'all? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey! Oh, you guys must be the uh, the Stefan family. Uh, yes, we're we're the uh, the Pokes family. We're we're so hyped to see you here. Uh, uh here's my brother Poke. Uh, uh hi hi, I I'm Poke. As I to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, but uh, we know who you are. You're the richest family in Brookhaven, obviously. Yeah, you guys are stupid loaded. We think you guys are so cool, man. Yeah, you're actually you're kind of cute too, Poke. Oh, um, th thank thank you. Uh, well, yeah, uh. That, it's nice to meet you guys, I guess. It was cool to meet y'all. I mean, y'all are so cool and rich. Like, we definitely gotta be friends. Yeah, we're gonna stay in touch. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, bye, guys. Yeah, it, it was nice meeting them. Dude, they were so nice to us, actually. Like, that was so sweet. Yeah, dude. They were so nice, bro. It's because we're rich, man. <laughs> it's, it's not because they like us for us? No, dude, are you kidding me? They're tired talking smack right now about us. I can't believe they think we'd be their friends. I know. <laughs> Only because they're rich, bro. I can't believe I called them cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, his, his, <laughs> his, chain, his chain is cute. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, they hate us. Yeah, it's all good, bro. They're nice to us when they're nice to us. Who cares, right? Dude, what's wrong with you? Your perception of the world is destroyed. I want real friends, bro, not some fake people. Dude, just relax, bro. This is the part of being rich that matters. I hate being rich. I have fake friends. I have fake family. My family is so mean to everybody. We're only nice to rich people in front of them, and then we talk bad behind their backs? What kind of life am I living? You know, I keep thinking about that one guy named Todd. He seemed like a real genuine person. Oh, Paul, come sit with us. It's the Fake Friends Foundation. Great, let's go talk to them over here. Uh, oh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, how y'all doing? Oh, you guys even got plates down? We got you some food, man. Uh, You know, we heard your family's worth like a, a couple billion dollars. So, you know, we just wanted to help you out. Yeah, of, of course. So, wh what are you guys up to? Uh, what, What's what's your family doing? In oh, you know, my family, they spend most of their time in southern France. And then we go over to southern Italy. And then, you know, whenever we're done with that, we just kind of travel around the world the rest of the time oh nice that's that's great yeah yeah poke honestly you're probably one of the coolest people we've ever met bro how could i be the coolest person you've met if i just met you i don't know you guys just seem so fake fake how are we fake bro we love you dude yeah dude you're like our best friend already bro yeah you're so cute too remember no 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 you guys are all fake i heard all of you talking crap about me right after you guys left you took back the thing that you said about me being cute. And you, you literally talked smack about me and said you only cared if I was rich. And you don't even care either. Y'all fake. Dude, I don't know what you heard, but you heard wrong. That's a lie, bro. Like, we love you, dude. Dude, 
We love you, bro. You are the cutest. Come on. I can't take this anymore. This is unreal. This is crazy. No fake. What is the point of any of this? This is just the worst. Dude, what do you Yo, want, man? Uh, what do you want? Yo, uh, you know, I spent all my allowance on these cool clockwork shades, and your brother was telling me you guys get a ton of allowance, so um, I think you could maybe give me like a couple hundred bucks for a new bike. Really? Your family's worth millions, and you can't even buy a bike? You're poorer than I thought, man. You know what? Just take it. Yeah, honestly, this is my money from a while ago, so just take it. I could literally care less, bro. Just take it, literally. Oh, no way, bro. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, my gosh. Man, this is just the worst. I don't even want to go to that school anymore. I don't even want to be in my family anymore. I just want real friends. Calabunga. Wait, what the? Oh, no, no, oh, no. It's Todd. No. Oh. Todd, yo, it's me, Poke, from earlier, bro. Yo, dude, did you see that? I just threw my skateboard down the slide. That was crazy. Dude, that looks so fun, man. Bro, we should totally hang out more, bro. You seem like such a cool guy. You don't care about the chains and my family and any of that stuff, bro. Dude, no. The only thing I care about is skateboarding and Coca-Cola. <laughs> I'm going to give you my number, dude. We got to hang out, bro. You seem like actually like a cool guy, bro. I don't have a cell phone. Um, My parents can't get me one. Oh, dude, that's totally fine, bro. Just take mine. I got another one at home. No worries, bro. What? You serious? You're giving me a cell phone? Dude, I, it's just a cell phone, man. I mean, like, I, I get this allowance and stuff. I don't care about it, but I mean, you're really hyped about it, bro. Like that, that just goes Dude, to show. Dude, no way. Thank you so much, man. Oh my God. Can, can I do something for you? Do you want a Coca-Cola? I would love a Coca-Cola. Here you go, man. It's my last one, but you know, I got more back at home. Shh, don't tell my mom. This is amazing. I can't believe my parents will let me have these. Oh my gosh. <gasps> What the? Dad, what is going on? And mom, I can't believe you guys are here. Poke, it's so good to see you. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Oh, give me a second. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm on it. Give me a second. Poke, it's so good to see you. And is that a Coca-Cola in your hand? Mister, you cannot be... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I'm getting a call now. Sorry, one second. Yes, I know. I know. But I... But Welcome to my life, brother. <laughs> Guess you missed the five minutes that they hung out with me. You know, I overheard my friend Todd earlier. You know, yeah, I have a friend now, bro. And I'm so excited to- Don't tell me you're friends with that Todd kid, the one with the Coca-Cola, bro. He is a brokey. He's so poor. You can't be friends with him, bro. Mom and dad won't allow it. He is a great person. And I'm telling you, man, he could change all of our lives and all of our experiences. It's not all about money, bro. I watched him go down a slide with a skateboard. Yep. That's a broke thing, bro. What is even a broke thing? Well, how did you decide what a broke thing is? You know what, bro? I'm gonna go ask mom and dad if they wanna go to dinner. I bet they'll say yes. <laughs> Good luck. Mom, dad, I was thinking we should definitely- Oh my gosh, Poke, what are you doing? Hold on. All right, we muted the call. What? Can we go out to dinner tonight? Us four, including Billy. I mean, it could just be a family dinner and- That's what the nanny is for. She could take you out to dinner. Gosh. Oh my gosh, you made me pause my call for this. I just lost out on $500,000, Poke. Jeez. Oh. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have even bothered. <laughs> What'd I tell you, bro? Oh, uh, sorry about that. You know, Poke, I feel bad. Uh, so how was school? How was classes? Yeah, how was the classes? You know, honestly, I hate private school. I hate the people there. I hate the classes. I don't want to go there. I want to go to a public school where I can meet actual people and make actual friends. I met someone earlier who literally gave me this Coca-Cola. Poke, you are going to go to private school and you are going to become a millionaire just like the rest of us. Because if you don't, you're a brokey and a failure. Yeah, you're going to be a brokey pokey. You want to be brokey pokey? Brokey pokey. Brokey pokey. Brokey pokey. Brokey, you guys are insane. Pokey, I brokey, hate all of you. <laughs> it just is so unfair. Why was I born into a rich family? I don't want to be rich. I don't want this. I just hate this. Wait, what is that noise? I hear a skateboard. Todd! Poke? Todd. Oh, sorry you have to see me like this, bro. I'm just not doing good right now, man. Yeah, what's going on, bro? I hate my life, and I hate my family, and I hate how much money I have. It's not fair, bro. Dude, all my family cares about is money. Oh, bro. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um... Well, if it makes you feel any better, like, my mom wouldn't let me keep the phone. They found it, so, uh, I had to give it back. So, thank you anyways, bro. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, um, 
No problem, bro. How, how is, how's your family, Todd? Are you rich? Oh, no, dude. I'm not rich at all, but every family has their problems, bro. You know, nobody's perfect. You know, sometimes in life, you just gotta play the cards you're dealt. Wow, you're actually kind of right on that. You know what, bro? My family just wants me to be this millionaire family and me being a millionaire, but to be honest, bro, I just want to be a farmer. Cool, bro. That sounds awesome. You know, my family really wants me to be something smart too, but I just want to be a dancer. You should do whatever you want to do, Todd. I have a feeling that we're going to be best friends. Oh, wow. Nanny, you remember when I bought this farm and it was just such a dream? I can't believe it. Oh, Poke, you were always the nicest to me. Your brother was the mean one. Well, I'm just so glad I could take care of you now. That's all I've wanted, for real. Ah, let me go downstairs. Let me go check up on the food. This is crazy. And wait, I have company. Who the heck? Who the heck is at my farm? No way. Poke, it's it's me, your dad. Poke, it's your mom. Poke, it's your brother. Wait, what 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 happened to you guys? Are y'all good? Oh my gosh, you guys look terrible. We've struck a bad nerve. We're all out of money. All of our fame and fortune down to the last bone. We're so sorry. Money isn't everything. We don't know how to live. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh my gosh, guys, I I'm, I'm so sorry, but, you know, you can come live with me. R really? W okay, well, where's the nanny? And are we going to be able to have meals prepped? And Sorry, bro, but if y'all are going to live with me, we're going to be doing things different this time. It's time to be nice. No! Perhaps we should leave. We thought you would have had money. We thought you we raised you right. You guys raised me perfectly. I'm exactly who I want to be. Now come in or don't. That's what I thought.